Remember, an arithmetic sequence is a list of numbers that goes from one term to the next by always adding the same value. Let's consider this sequence. We see that we need to add 3 to each term in order to get to the next term. So we say that the common difference d is equal to 3. Notice that the value for the first term a1 is 6. The second term a2 is 9, which is 6 plus 3, where 6 is the value for term a1, and 3 is the common difference d. So we can say that term a2 is equal to a1 plus d. And we'll make a note of it over here. The third term, a3, is equal to 12, which is the sum of the first term, a1, 6, plus 2 times 3, which is 2 times d. So we can say that a3 is equal to a1 plus 2d, which we'll make a note of over here. Now let's look at term 4, 15, which is the sum of term 1, 6, and 3 times 3, which is 3d. So term 4 is a1 plus 3d, which we'll make a note of down here. Now we'll take the three equations we made and take a closer look at them and see if we can find some patterns. Notice they all start with term a1. And to all of these, we add a number times d, the common difference. Notice in term number 2, we add 1d. So the number of d's we add is 1 less than the term number. In the second equation, the term number is 3, and we add 2 d's. So again, the number of d's we add is 1 less than the term number. And when the term number is 4, we add 3 d's. So again, the number of d's we add is 1 less than the term number. Now we can make a general equation. Remember, a n stands for a general term, where n can be any number we want. All of the equations start with the first term, a1, so so will this one. And since the number of d's we add is 1 less than the term number n, we'll add n minus 1 times d to our equation. Study this for a few moments and make sure it makes sense to you. So now we've created a general equation we can use for any arithmetic sequence. a n equals a1 plus n minus 1 d. It would be good for you to memorize this equation. Let's see how this equation works for the sequence we have here. We'll use it to predict the value for term 5, even though we already know what it is. Here's the equation, a n equals a1 plus n minus 1 d. We're looking for term 5, so we'll replace both n's by 5, giving us a5 equals a1 plus 5 minus 1 d. The value for term a1 is 6, and 5 minus 1 equals 4. So we have a5 equals 6 plus 4d. The common difference d is equal to 3. So now we have a5 equals 6 plus 4 times 3. 4 times 3 is 12. So now we have a5 equals 6 plus 12, which equals 18. So using the equation has given us the correct value for term 5, which is 18. We'll quickly use the equation again to find the value for term a6. Here's the equation. Since it's term 6, we can say that a6 equals a1 plus 6 minus 1 d, which equals 6 plus 5 d. Because d equals 3, this becomes 6 plus 5 times 3, which is 6 plus 15, or 21. So using the equation has given us the correct value for term 6, which is 21. a n equals a1 plus n minus 1 d is a very useful equation and it can be used for many questions involving arithmetic sequences. Music